looking for someone? What now? About time things livened up. Okay. So, Guru, damn, I'm looking good. Wow, there's wine on top of the toilet. <laughs> and at least this is this toilet's better than what I've seen in Shogo. Ugh. F6. Well, Cause I got a feeling all hell is broken loose. Here she comes! Thanks, Miss. I owe you my life. Just keep your head down till this is over. What's going on? Uh... Yeah, just to say it this way, all hell's broken loose. Yeah, doors are locked. Guess I'm gonna need to find another way out. Sleeping gas? Huh. This might be pro might prove useful. There? I prove useful. F6 because I think there got a feeling there's a bunch of guys in there. Something over there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Hey, you're a, you can't escape me. Yeah, it seems that when you wound these guys enough, they try to run right toward you. Hey, look at this. To all employees from Arno Kirchner, sleeping on duty will not be tolerated. 50 DM will be paid to any employee reporting a co-worker for this infraction. It's kind of ironic that the the that the manager is like <laughs> was doing that thing, doing that as well. Ironic, don't you think? <laughs> Where this is, it's good. It's really important. Must be. All right, so. Full metal jacket. Alright, wow. Well, actually, I should use these rounds more often since it's more plentiful. Uh, was that guy on top supposed to push that shelf down? Because I think he. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the guy's already dead, but I'll bet his ghost did that. Hmm. What's this? Intel item. Encrypted message. K-Z-F-O-R-H-W-V-Z-W. Hmm. Okay, I'm beginning to... <laughs> regard... I'm beginning to question doing that. Because it's not... I mean, I didn't lose that much armor. Actually, you know what? I, I should, uh... Kill her! Someone take the soup off the stove! Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just like, kill me, but they're busy dealing with the soup. That's right. Ooh. Okay. 
Uh, somewhere we cut the cheese here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Eh, looks like you're not gonna take the soup off the stove. It's probably gonna burn up by then. Gosh, are all these tomatoes they have? Okay, here they come. Okay, I'll be, I'll be running here, right? Hello? before I could question the bastard. You okay? I suppose, although I think someone might have tried to drug me. Something stung the back of my neck as I was heading for the ladies' room. Might have been a dart. How do you feel now? Not bad. Meet me at this address in one hour. Why not go together? I want to poke around and see who these people are. They may be linked to harm. Are you sure it's safe? Hell no. It's reckless and dumb, but that's not going to stop me. Well, good luck then. What should I do if you don't make it? Don't worry, doll. I'll make it. If you say so. Head backstage. A friend of mine's waiting in the alley. He'll get you out of here. Just tell him you're with me. You think he'll believe me? He will if you tell him my code name. I don't know your code name. Bold Eagle. <laughs> Good God. What's so funny? Nothing. See you later, Bold Eagle. Not if I see you first. Okay. Bold Eagle. Sounds a little over patriotic there. Okay. I think I'm supposed to be going here, I think. Wait, am I already gone here? Ah. Uh, just a bar. Am I just, uh, um, uh, hmm. Fraulein Wagner. For our conversation, I have initiated an internal investigation regarding the supposed expendability directive from... The executive director, Franz. Hmm. All right, now let's move on. Okay. What's this? Contains a book on criminal sociology by Dr. Melvin Fitzroy, PhD. Harm. All of those harm boxes. That must be the guy I'm supposed to meet, right? I guess I have to improvise. Okay, that was a waste of rounds there. Okay. Knock knock. Oh, I can't go around here? Damn. So much for that. Alright, F6, cuz. Guess I'm gonna be fighting thugs like no other here. What's in all those cakes anyway? Beer. We supply Harm's entire staff with the finest Deutsch brews. Really? That must be a lot of beer. Indeed. Our studies show that criminals drink three times as much alcohol as law-abiding citizens. So beer turns people into criminals? 
Just because criminals drink a lot of beer doesn't mean that beer causes crime. It's possible that people with criminal tendencies enjoy beer because it helps to soothe their conscience. Or perhaps criminal behavior is caused in part by a genetic predisposition that also, coincidentally, makes criminals like the taste of beer more than the average person. Who knows? You're very knowledgeable about these things. Criminal sociology is a hobby of mine. I think it's important to understand not just the individual psychological roots of one's behavior, but also the social circumstances that foster that behavior. Whether we like it or not, we are shaped by our environment. Surely you're not suggesting that individuals aren't accountable for their actions. Oh, no, of course not. Just because we are products of the societies we're born into doesn't absolve us of personal responsibility. Our religions and laws teach us what is right and what is wrong. Frequently, the right choice is the more difficult path to take. It requires sacrifice, self-discipline, patience, virtues that many of us find somewhat lacking in our natures. But what if you're born into a hedonistic culture? Look across history. The reason hedonism is discouraged by most religions and governments is that it weakens a civilization. It breeds sloth, petulance, degeneracy, and selfishness. A divided nation is a fragile nation waiting to be conquered. Unity is strength. Humans instinctively fashion order out of chaos. It is a natural, probably genetic impulse. Therefore, even an individual born into troubled times has the capacity, and even the duty, to behave in a manner that promotes unity, however difficult it may be. Then what about us? I can only speak for myself. I am a product of a broken household, which introduced a general lack of self-confidence in me at a very early age. These feelings of inadequacy blossomed into anger as I matured, that the rigors of adolescence with the teasing and abuse and awkwardness we must all endure only exacerbated. But even though I've identified the source of my problems, I'm still too childish and petty to become a responsible, mature citizen. Well, admitting you have a problem is the first step, I suppose. I like to think so. Yeah, my god, that was like, what? The longest conversation I ever heard. Alright, so... Got the sleeping gas. We got snipers here. Oh, go fuck yourself. Okay, what should I think about here? Uh, I don't think I expect to be expect to get through there stealthily anyway. Okay. I forgot that those guys wake up really soon, really fast. How many of these guys are there? Okay. Yeah, I, there was no way in hell I would have, um, I would have gone through that undetected. Now I'm gonna wish I, uh, Picked up that body armor. I guess on a custom. I guess when I, if I ever replay this web mission again, I mean after it was beaten, I can probably use something like a like a customized uh, like so, so that, like customized set of weapons. Okay, I guess there's nothing else here, or is it? Is anything here? Nope. All right, let's get down here. F6. I got a bad feeling about this. We will meet again, Dark. And I will crush you! Ugh. Expected. My god, she's like she's has like bad singing there. Spy, huh? 
Seven of nine items. Health bonus. There is a Unity safe house in Bremen, near the docks where you are to rendezvous with Agent Goodman. Stop there on your way and submit a status report to command. You should also equip yourself for the mission ahead. Okay. Well, it looks like something new, huh? What was the name of that nightclub again? Das Einsame Valkyrie. Ah, yes, here it is. The proprietor's name is Wagner. Inga Wagner. Ring any bells? We've got a file on her. She's supposedly a distant relation of Richard Wagner's, although I don't believe that connection has ever been adequately established. Nonetheless, as a child, she was constantly pressured by her parents to become an opera singer, presumably in order to continue the family legacy. The only problem was that she was completely tone-deaf. The combination of her parents' unyielding devotion and the inevitable series of rejections she encountered once she began to audition seems to have warped her mind in unhealthy ways. As a young woman, she had several run-ins with the West German authorities, initially involving complaints about her impromptu public concerts, but eventually blossoming into allegations of smuggling, extortion, money laundering, and even murder. It's entirely possible she's fallen in with harm. Find out what you can. Very good, sir. Be careful, Archer. I'll be fine. Okay. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Gone through all that crap. We've modified your cigarette lighter. It now features a built-in miniature welder. The flame should be just hot enough to cut through padlocks that can't be picked or shot off. Look for locks with dials instead of keyholes. Try welding these locks off. Okay, so now my lighter becomes a welding torch. So I find something with with dials on it, a lock with dials. You have to weld them off. We've developed a new lipstick explosive for you. This one has a three second timer, which will allow you to bank it around corners or seek cover before it detonates. Okie dokes. Combustible lipstick. What will Santa think of next? Except with a timer on it. Whoa. I feel bad for the dummy there. And looks like we got more melons to eat. Excellent. Elite guard, hip chicks. Hmm? Wow, look at that. I'm so bloody bored. I never have any fun. Me neither. Hmm. Charlie's Angels, I guess? It's like a 60s fashion? Victim. Of course. Meet Agent Goodman at the Bremen Docks. Your first goal will be to get aboard the cargo freighter. Once aboard, you must locate the captain's log and the shipping manifest. Also, photograph any suspicious chemical containers you find. Okay, so... Let's see, uh... Interesting. Shepherd Arms 9mm. Let's do, do, do. Okay, so this, I guess that's all I have. Guess there's nothing I got no choice on this matter. So, I think I'm just going to cut off this video from here on out. So next time on... On No One Lives Forever... Uh, like I meet... I meet up with Agent Goodman... And get onto a cargo freighter, so... See you then.